Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Is anybody out there? Please, help! Help! Somebody help me! Finally, I'm free. Almost. God, 
I don't remember anything that happened. God, I don't remember anything that happened. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Uh. Uh. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. Uh. Uh. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Jesus, 
I can't believe that happened. So sick. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate, to take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit, it was very satisfying to break it down. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Madsen for stalking Kate? Of course, he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. 
But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. You didn't care about him. You're wrong again. He was genuinely talented, and his father is a serious asshole, as you might know. I know. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Sorry, this is not art. This is purity. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. A 
I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm back. For a wonderful photographic right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Your portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. <laughs> Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It does... Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. <laughs>
I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Be careful. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. Excuse me, sir. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited, too. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. 
We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. We're almost in San Francisco, but I'm so excited too. We'll be landing soon. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say... Artists, instead. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Are Not you anymore. Max Caulfield? That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is gonna be worth seeing. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece.
I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who teenage girl. Artist? I think it's for some content. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. Kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all, me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. I do not understand art. How much would you pay for that? Loving the retro vibe. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. And there she is to save the day. Hi.
You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Stuck. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a light. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. A photographer now. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. doing the time I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco simple sorry San Francisco Chloe comes first Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please.
eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. <laughs> At least. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Jesus. Did and I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you, uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. And I promise you.
Could you please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. Now I'm a little bit crazy. Out of my mind, I'm going slide. Please just raise me the head. It's all a little bit hazy. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay screwy instead. And I'm a little bit cuckoo. Got guys. Hold it! What? I promise you. And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? <laughs> Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. Max, rewind and help David. Max, rewind and help David. Rewind and help David. And I promise you. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? And I promise you. Could you please at least play some music, 
So I can drift away? Yep. No way, Jefferson. And I promise you. What do you... I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Time to shut the fuck up, okay? And I promise you. What do you... I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hate... This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me. No! David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Jefferson, it's over. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. <clears throat> David Madsen! You are not going to now. stop me! Got it! Oh, Christ! Going to stop me! Grab that bottle! Jefferson! It's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I, 
I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. No. All this expensive gear just for sick bullshit. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you for the last time. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. I saw her. I. I saw. Her. Jefferson Keller in the junkyard last night last night when I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe how can I face her and explain this I never even told Chloe that I, I god damn it You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me.
Yes. Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm's getting smaller. I'm kinda scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, I want to pay all those taxes! You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Something. I better rewind. Baby, one more pick. 
Evan, see that tornado? Get the hell out this of here! Max, there's no it's way I can pass up these images. Just look at it! I can't take a picture when it's dead. Now move your ass. Okay, if you insist. Whoa, Max! You do know things. I'm such an idiot. Only if you don't find the safe spot until this blows over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. How can I get out of here? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Dead. Electrocuted. This is blocked off. Damn. This is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. Max! Oh, Max! Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. And... It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from... Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, and the fact that my dog is dead. Not to mention I could die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I might see? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet you and Chloe didn't find Rachel. Right? Oh, Frank. 
I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. Now, how do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Pompidou hated him. You saw... You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Well, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid, I still think you're weird. But you're cool. I can't seem to escape the two whales. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have, so I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. 
I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Jesus. It's... Hey, be careful out there. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, to Warren. To Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. 
Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never... Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! If I'm totally strong and honest, she'll listen. Excuse me. Nathan is dead. That fucker is already... Because... Will you please... Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max. I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. 
We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that, too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Just stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm when back in class. As he what the hell? Movies. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our Have sorrow. Have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again? This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense.
Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh no. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I've been dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Call me Mark. We need to play catch up on all the time we've wasted. Especially since there's nobody left in your life. I love you too, Max. This can't be real. I don't believe it. you let me jump off a roof? You are the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you.
Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. How do you know she just disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. That bracelet's bracelet. Why the fuck were you wearing my bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? Everything's here. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smart ass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. Because of our images of hopeless faces, we feel like totally haunted by magic. Say, you should be here, you're right, no scams again. I'm just an evil, and I'm right, no, we don't be that, it'll go. I was a little bit of an ordinary scheme in the sea of my own shops. I'm having my mask to your city now. I told her, she was in the room. I'm making a shit to see what's going to happen. I'm making a shit to see what's going to happen. Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Hey, Max! Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place... Max! Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Oh, Max! Max.
Oh, Max! I better rewind right now. Max. Rewind now! Hey. Oh, Max! Max. Max. Hey, Max. I wonder how we'll get around this. Oh, Max! Max. Max! Max! I have to rewind, now! Max! Oh, Max!
Hey. Max. Hey. Max. Max? Max! Max! Max? Please come to the dark room immediately. I repeat, Max Caulfield, to the dark room, now! Excuse me, can everybody hear me? If you know the whereabouts, Max. Will Max Caulfield please come to the dark room and Max? I better rewind right now. Will Max Caulfield please come to the dark room immediately? Wait, Max. Max? Yes, Max. You can also Max manipulate Caulfield, time. Okay. So my rewind power does work here. Max Caulfield, I can use it if I'm Caulfield. careful. Will Max Caulfield please come to the dark room immediately? I repeat. Max Caulfield. Hello, Max. Will Max Caulfield please come to the dark room immediately? I repeat, Max. Will Ma Hello, Max Caulfield please come to the dark room immediately? I repeat, Max Caulfield to the dark room now.
Excuse me. Wait, Max. Wes Caulfield, please come to the dark room immediately. I repeat, Max Caulfield, to the dark room. Now. Excuse me. Get everybody here. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play, eh? Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, ape? Go, ape, go, ape, babe, babe. Poor Samuel. Had to mop up you blood my wheels, all Max? night. Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Get in the car! How can I tell Max's parents that she's a nosy little bitch? Max, you I know you're in car, here. Max. You can run, but you can't hide. I knew from I should have given that scholarship knife. to Victoria instead of Max. Up. Samuel wants to make sure you never snoop around. What, what kind of sick mind would steal room? money from the handicapped? Come over here, Nobody will miss Max, Max or her you're friends Chloe man. after this comes. Too bad you didn't become friends with your such a hypocrite, Max. Miss Price can't maybe just show maybe up. Maybe I'll be life. safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. Howard Whip. cheated life and cheat your friends out of life. Hey, Max. Minute, Max. You're just Pretty jealous because me and Victoria I ended up actually being right do about the everything. Well, you hey. Max? And cheat your friends out of life. Miss Price can't just show up at Blackwell in a wheelchair and think we're going to accommodate her every whip. Squirrels hate you. Hey, Max. Hey, Pretty fucking ironic that I ended up being right about everything and you end up destroying the town. Do you have a scarf on your neck? Hey, Max. Please come here. So I can beat you up. Come on, Max. Just admit that you're jealous of my service record. Admit it! Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Those were my bees, If Max. only you could have Those seen my Rachel, bees. my blood-spattered angel. There you are. Max. Down here in the sewer. Come on down. Max. Max! I want to share my gift with you. <laughs> Stop! Hey, Max. Here in the sewer. Come on down. Especially after I dug her. Oh, man. You should have heard Chloe smack talk you. It was brutal. But of course, I see what she's talking yeah, about. Skank. Oh no. Bottles. This might be hell. Oh man, Rachel, Max. look just like a zombie. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out, no matter what. Max, it's all I'm gonna be all over the shit, my shit list now, Max. Hey, wait, wait! Max, you need to get high like Rachel. You are at the top of my shit list now, Max. Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy.
Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Wheels. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to waste You are ridiculous. Tomorrow. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting set. tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber. But not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. I guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shock -a bra Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead, and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code?
I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Now, why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new Look, I know things were bad between us, but that doesn't mean I deserve to die. Max, I hope I you do the right thing. Honey, I always I thought of you that yeah, It's okay if I'm gone. I, my husband and I wish we had been friends, we'll Max. Have to go I'm without you. Yours. But please. Who, who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I mean, you dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Of course. She's my best friend. Oh yeah, you ignored your best friend for five years while she went through hell. Some friend. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny... I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! 
I pledge allegiance to Mac. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It's it. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel... Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair. Photo bomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are be- It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I I'm glad we are- Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our fiery gear. Chloe, you're back. I'm just... Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other vi- Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe. Come on, Max, we're almost there! Out. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way! You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. 
even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Not anymore. Max, I'll always be with you. Forever.
Out. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <laughs> <laughs>